Hello! In this tutorial I want to do a quick overview of the CSound utilities for analysis file generation. I'm going to show you how to use them in Qt CSound. You can go to the view menu and select utilities from there or use Alt 9 which is the default shortcut. This will open a dialog which contains the five uh, utilities for, sound for analysis file generation. Why do they exist? Uh, they are actually uh, standalone programs which take a sound file and generate an output analysis file. So uh, they exist because in the old days, uh, if you wanted to do this kind of analysis and resynthesis processes, uh, it would be too time consuming to analyze and resynthesize every time. So you could pre-analyze files and then try resynthesizing in different ways uh, without having to do the analysis again. This is not so useful nowadays as we have such powerful computers, uh, but still they, they provide the, this, this facility. So let's start with CVNL. Uh, CVNL is just uh, a Fourier analysis of the sound file and saves uh, a single uh, transfer frame into the file. It's useful uh, to convolve uh, with uh, sound inside CSound using the convolve operator. Of course, this will make a very efficient convolution since you are not analyzing um, the sound file every time. <coughs> Next is the hetero uh, utility. Uh, the hetero decomposes an input sound file into component sinusoids, uh, specifically harmonic sinusoids. It will um, uh, generate a set of uh, uh, heterodyne filters or, or a filter bank, which then analyzes the sound and will generate an amplitude value for each of the, of the filter frequencies. Uh, so you need to set the base frequency say something like 40 or 80, or if you know the base frequency of, of the sound you're analyzing, and the number of partials uh, you, you want to use. In a way, this is like a Fourier analysis, and mathematically it's very similar, but you get to choose how many partials you want. Um, it also has a bit of a problem, because if you have a lot of vibrato or it's, or it's a very noisy sound, hetero will not be very, very satisfying, but it will generate some uh, interesting sounds anyway. You can use the hetero files, the uh, hetero analysis files, with the add sin uh, opcode, and of course, of course, you just give it the the file name uh, of the analysis file. LPNL does uh, linear predictive coding um, analysis of the sound file and generates uh, an output file, and you can use that uh, later uh, using the LP read opcode. Of course, the LP read opcode will only generate uh, cycles per second, the amount of error and uh, levels, but you can then use that uh, to drive uh, oscillators. Uh, the PVNL does the more, uh, the better known uh, phase vocoder analysis, which is uh, a further processing of the, of the basic windowed Fourier analysis, and it will save a PVX file. You can then uh, resynthesize that using um, the PVOC opcode, and you can just give the analysis file name uh, there. This will allow you, you can, you can use a time pointer or do modulation so that you can uh, stretch or uh, pitch shift your, your sound. And the final uh, utility uh, CSound has for analysis file generation is ATSA. This implements the ATS uh, process, which is a sort of refinement of the, um, of the Fourier transform and phase vocoder. Um, and you can resynthesize that using the ATSA opcodes, which you will find the ATS resynthesis opcodes. Um, you can read them and get partials and do all kinds of transformations um, with the sound. Uh, so that's it. Uh, CSound has a lot uh, more uh, utilities for uh, uh, sound file processing. But it also has many of these features also integrated as uh, real-time uh, processing modules. You will find uh, a lot of information in the Tools for Real-Time spectral, uh, spectral Processing chapter, which is here. And this is the um, opcodes overview, a bit further down. If you go to Spectral Processing, you will find Tools for Real-Time Spectral Processing. And there you will see a list of the PVS opcodes, which do phase vocoder analysis, but always in real time, without the need of a pre-processing. But also a set of um, uh, streaming partial tracks uh, analysis, which will track only the, the deterministic or harmonic part 
of the signal. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you in the next one.